Hi, I'm Jessica with Tree Ring Art, and today I'm going to show you how to do dips. I have my acrylic paints mixed up. Today I'll be using Glycrylics Titanium White, Glick Matte Acrylics in Red Violet Medium, Green Blue Medium, and Pale Gold. I'm also using these ceramic tiles that are available on Glick's website. When I do a dip, I will lay freezer paper down and then I take the surface that I'm going to get paint on and I usually put it face down and then I trace around it. I'm going to do that four times. You can just pour your paint without tracing the surface, but I like to do it this way, a little more control over what I'm putting on my tile. So I'm going to start with the white. You can use a stick if you'd like to apply your paint to the square or just make a spout. These little paper cups are really handy for this. And then start filling your square with your paints. You can do any sort of pattern you'd like. I like to just randomly go with the paints. Um, I always think it makes a neat pattern when you dip into all the paints together like that. You could do all white on one side though, and then you could put your other colors over here. Um, there are so many different things that you can do, and it's fun to play around and see what kind of patterns you can make on tiles. This is what I do with all my leftover paint from acrylic pouring. Now I'm gonna add some red violet medium. Now the green blue medium. And some pale gold. This is where I try to fill in all the spaces that are still open in the square. Now you go through and look and I, if you can see there are some little spaces in here that still didn't get filled in. So now I'm going to take my stick and pick a paint color. I'm going to use gold. I'm going to go through and I'm going to add paint to those sections. You want to make sure that you get the entire square filled with paint because you don't want to press your tile in only to pull it up and find that you have a section that doesn't have paint on it. Now I have my squares filled with paint. Take my tile and put it face down right on top of the paint. You wanna make sure when you're doing this that you don't push like that because you'll get it muddy underneath there. The paint will mix together more. You wanna just apply firm but light pressure onto the back and then grab the tile on the four corners flip it over. It doesn't it usually cover the sides all the way, so a good way to do that is to look into your paint and see where you can find sections that might match and set it into that section. Do it again, set it in the paint and gentle pressure against the back. Grabbing all four corners and flipping it over. You can see there's little air bubbles in there. Those will pop. You can also lightly run a torch over them, a hand torch. These sections of paint you can also save. Once they dry, they'll peel right off this paper and you can make them into stuff. I'd like to use them to make necklaces, but could use them for collages or whatever you think of. So I'll run a torch over so you can see. There's a bubble right there. See? There's a set of dip tiles. 